Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we have yet another drone. This is a Kickstarter for the Levitop, the autonomous folding drone. Levitop is an intelligent drone with a 20 minute flight time, compact portable frame, and 1080p stabilized camera for everyday adventure. Okay, so this guy has raised 123 one thousand dollars and it's only I think launched uh, a couple days ago maybe three or four days ago and it's already got 730 backers 36 days to go so this one's definitely gonna be it's already four times its goal almost five it's gonna probably be uh, 300,000 something like that who knows 400,000 a million could make a million so what is this thing? It is a drone with four arms and the arms fold in, so it's a folding drone. Um, the key thing with this one is to try to get an idea of the kind of the level. Is this a cheap drone? Is this a really good drone? Is this a good cheap drone? Is this a junky cheap drone? Um, how big is it? So as you can see here, it's actually pretty small. Um, it looks bigger in the pictures, but when you actually see someone holding it, it's not tiny, but it's, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe double the size of a beer can, like a 32-ounce Uber beer can or something. Um, so anyway, let's watch the video. Video is okay. A new generation of a portable phone-operated drone is coming. That is not the actual sound it makes. Drone technology doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. Ever since I was a child, I've been full of curiosity. I often dreamt of flying. Now, Levtop no, makes this. We installed the CMOS technology. Has a CMOS supposed to be big CCD camera. Used in digital cameras, meaning your pictures and videos will be sharper and more stunning than any other drones. But most important, its design is unique. I suppose so. I don't think I've ever seen a kind of a soda can type aspect here. Profile. Our team worked on each detail to get a perfect, well-balanced result between function and portability. Oh, nice and portable. Easily foldable, you can bring the left top anywhere you want by naturally carrying it at your waist. So this looks a lot smaller. I don't know. This is the weird part. Okay, so this looks like it's, you know, like a beer cooler as opposed to this. I guess it's about the same. But somehow with the case on it looks tiny. Forget complicated preparations. As soon as you're ready to fly. I think what it is maybe because this girl has really small hands. It'll take you only one click to take off. Using our motion control technology via your mobile, you can drive So that sounds a little more realistic on the sound. The flight path by simply Reset the left top to GPS and vision okay, so now this comes to keep you in the frame. Thing. When it's following these guys around and it's flying and this is supposedly using some kind of uh, autonomous flight mode where it's tracking him. Does it really work? I don't know. We'll have to see. With its intelligent flight system, enjoy full freedom of movement while left top captures the perfect shot. So this is important. We're looking down on it. First of all, there's all these wires in here. If this thing is really going autonomous, uh, that's either risky or impressive or really stupid because some of these are probably power lines. God, following and tracking your actions automatically. And they don't show it here. It's the thing about know, its columns. And this one too, I guess it can follow you around. It knows to go up. Ha ha, she made it. With Levtop, you're free from the control stick. You can take a picture whenever you feel like it. Once you got your shot, you can edit it on your smartphone. So, yeah, it takes pictures and all that stuff. But the question is, you know, instantly. Are they good? With our new precision positioning technology, in one click, your drone returns exactly where it took off. We're committed to making Levtop the portable. So, I'll give them some bonus points for actually. <laughs> including the annoying noises too, not just the good helicopter samples. Affordable and fun drone you finally deserve. Thanks. For okay, so that's the intro. Um, 
they do have, if you want realistic sound effects, here you go. That's what a real drone sounds like. Uh, they have it outside. Um, one thing to note, unlike the slick, pretty slickly produced video there, um, this is a, maybe a little bit more accurate about the origins of the Levtop. This is like a two-star hotel in China somewhere, and they're shouting at each other in Chinese. Okay. <laughs> so actually I want to give them some kudos for a of course kudos for actually flying and stuff um, and then also kudos for you know despite their slickly produced video they're basically admitting that these are a couple guys out of wherever Shenzhen somewhere Dongguan who knows um, who are making your drone and despite the fact that they say they're from LA and their name is Levitop, actually they do give the, and all these people are white, they do give the team and they're clearly just a bunch of China guys, which is totally cool because actually China makes the best drones nowadays. But um, yeah, it's better if they're more open, I think. Although the English does leave a bit to be desired. Vice President of UAV Association. What UAV Association? Um, where is it? I think uh, the marketing. Three years of experience in social media. Wow, that's pretty good. I have three years too. I've been using Facebook for at least three years. Um, anyway, so they got facts. They got quite a lot of facts. They got updates. Um, fully funded on like the first day, within 24 hours of launch. Not a coincidence, I'm sure. They're pretty good with answering the questions too. So. Um, there are some things that these videos and even the text and stuff don't really go into detail about too much, but if you know something about drones, um, it's pretty obvious. There's no gimbal in here, which means it's not pointable. Um, meaning, you know, in that scene where they're running, the left top is also very easy to use. Reset the left top to GPS and vision position to keep you in the frame. So you notice the camera is really low here. That's probably not really from the left top either. With its intelligent flight system, enjoy. And you notice it doesn't look down at it as it flies over. It stays full freedom forward. of movement. While left top captures the perfect shot. And in this case, this is not from the drone. This is of the drone chasing him. God. Following and tracking your actions automatically. So this kind of stuff, well, this one's straight, so it's not so bad. But I guess, is that false advertising or not? Like, they never claim that it can. They pretty clearly show in these shots that this is not from the drone. It's of the drone. Um, but basically, keep in mind, by the way, FYI, you can't take a shot like this with this freaking drone unless you're, like, really pouring on the gas and the thing doesn't fly straight. Um, because it doesn't tilt and pan, it can't track things on the ground, you can't actually do true overhead shots. You can look at the horizon while you're flying up really high, which I guess is good if you're next to a building or a mountain, but if you want to look down on, say, your neighbor's yard or whatever you do with your drone, uh, this is not the drone for you. So, is that a deal breaker? At this price point, let's talk about price. At this price point, maybe not. Um, so it's uh, 139 they have a couple spots, actually a bunch of spots left. They had a 129 super early bird, but that one, I guess it ran out of time. It was probably like the first day or something. Um, but basically, yeah, you can get it. It comes with two packs and one packs and early birds. This one, you can add $26, get an extra battery, and get the case. So I actually like it that they make that separate. Um, and it comes with a battery, battery's removable, I guess it's some kind of standard size. Um, and so, yeah, the info is good, the design, and I'm not super hot on it, but I guess it's relatively compact. 
Uh, they show in the video somewhere one of these ones. Yeah. So here still looks pretty big. Um, that yeah, it looks like it's just basically like a hollow base. So without the battery, it's just an empty case with four little folded arms. So the only other thing is I would say when you get this thing, because it's only 1500 milliamp hour battery too, which is less than a phone one, um, this thing probably feels really light, like like a toy light from the looks of it and from the fact that it's empty and whatnot. Um, not super high level, let's just call it that. It's like a entry level. Um, and so yeah, they show it flying. I guess this is real. Sorry, my video screen is screwing up. And they show them trying to. They show them landing, but they don't actually show it landing. Let's see how it looks on the You can see the screen here. Yeah, so you just see a bunch of grass, which means it basically tipped over. And then he switches to like a video to see his video, and then he's going to share it. So meanwhile, he keeps the phone in front of here because it like fell over. I'm basically pretty sure it fell over. Not the end of the world, but you know, why you gotta hide it with your hand? Watch this. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Boom. And tips over. <laughs> Oops. Well, at least in the other video, the actual video of the guy in China, maybe that's a later version, it does actually land. Um, or maybe it's just he had a bad take here. But should have redone it. Um, the fact that they totally perfectly covered it up with his hand, I don't think that's a surprise. Um, anyway, so what's the verdict on the Levitop? Since Scott asked. Scott, thanks for your recommendation, by the way. I'm going to give this one a very, very, very mild thumbs up. I'm going to tell you why. $129, $139 actually pretty good this is what you're talking about if you want a good one with the gimbal sturdy this one doesn't fold but the propellers do this thing doesn't fly any longer doesn't go any faster really um, but it does have the gimbal this one is actually quite good it's very I've flown one before very good you can actually feel like you're flying but do it costs like four hundred dollars okay yeah, but you get meadow green, right? Sky blue, maybe? Actually, I think I like the lava red. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, you know, you're going to talk $400 before you get all these extra accessories and stuff. And you get the little controller. So for something that's pretty similar with only maybe a couple extra things. I don't know. Can this thing do 4K or 1080? I don't even remember. Um, 12 megapixel camera. So, you know... You get what you pay for with this. This can do a lot. Levitop is cheaper, but not so bad. Um, let's look at what else is on the market. They do have a lot of cheap drones. This is from DroneEnthusiast.com. You know, there are a lot of other things out here in a similar price range. I think those are sub one. Uh, these are $130 range ones. Um... And they don't necessarily last longer. Like this is only 720, lasts seven minutes. This one only lasts five minutes. Wow, it's got too many propellers, I guess. Um, but there's some decent ones, like 15 minutes, can go 100, 400, 150 meters, 720p. It's not bad. And they give a, you know, their best one would be this one, the Altair Aerial AA108. So it's sub $130, got a camera, doesn't fold up, but, you know, this these ones don't use a phone app, though, so you have to have this little controller. Is that better or worse? It's just like a remote control plane at that point, right, that has a camera on it. Um, I guess watch the video to find out. So I'll skip all these. They're, they're basically tons of different kinds, especially from Altair. Um, GoPro compatible, so you can hook up your GoPro to some of these things. Other ones glow in the dark or something. Um, so, yeah, there's just a lot of options in that same price range. Are these better or worse? I guess, well, these are better because you can just pick one up. Whereas the Levitop, you got to wait. 
they sound very confident that they're going to get this done by June, meaning it's basically already done, as you saw from the video. Um, even if it's like July, August, September, that's not the end of the world. They do seem to answer questions, so yeah. Not too bad. Someone actually did ask about the camera. It says it has a 120 degree field of view, so you can actually still kind of look downwards uh, as you're going, or you can see downwards. Um, but yeah, they said, like literally they said in this, like, it's good for looking at the horizon. Don't expect a lot more than that. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. Welcome back to Go Kick Me On and check us out on Twitter and Facebook and gokickmedia.com. Sign up for our newsletter. See you guys next time. Thanks, everyone. If I got anything wrong, by the way, if you are the Levitop people, do leave a comment. And you guys can click the link in the description to see more. Okay, bye.